as you can see before me, this is the 2022 Home Depot nine and a half foot tall animated immortal werewolf. This retails for $399. I bought mine on Orange Friday, July 15th, along with Alan and Josh, who both got one as well. Rob decided to stick with his size does matter oogie, so he missed out on this item. Size will matter in this one. Frankly, I think I'm going to like it more than the Inferno. I like the Inferno more than the Skelly, and this thing is really just competing with the Phantom because, yeah, we've only seen the Home Depot promos of it. No one owns it. That will be the last Home Depot prop to ship, so we're going to have to wait a little bit longer on that. But for me, I think that this thing will be my favorite animatronic I own, no doubt. You can see this side of the box is a little bit damaged right there, so they messed that up quite a bit. You can see the white kind of dimensions here. It is 9.6 feet tall and 5.7 feet wide at the base. You've got your life eyes, the LCD technology, how they move around, they blink. You've got your animation, it looks so good and then you're howling up there of course cannot wait to demonstrate that feature and yeah that's really it let's go ahead and open up the animated immortal werewolf so it is ready to go. Now this is all of the werewolf contents laid out in a relatively organized manner. I forgot to get out like the circles in that last clip. For instance, the poles that go at the bottom of the base and like the adapter and you know, just that other nitty gritty. But essentially I got all like the main components of the wolf out originally. You've got the pants, you know, the shirt, the, I don't even know, like the calves, looks like part of the arms there. You've got your claws, your feet, the thighs over there, the main chest area with the, well, yeah, take that off, wires that will connect to the back of the head right there. And that's, I think, it for just, you know, laying everything out. I figured I would definitely show you this part of it because there's a lot to it. The size of the head is quite large. You can see this is my hand compared to it. The eyes there as well with the yellowed fangs, which look just so good. And yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and build it. Now at this point in the video, it is time to lay the werewolf down in order to attach the torso. Now, I actually made a mistake. I put the poles for the base on a little bit too early. They're not supposed to be on until I think the very end. I just put them on for extra stability. So I have to remove those. I've got to get the box now to lay it down. So I'll do that off camera because that'll be a little bit of a hassle. It looks like Darth Maul right now. We're halfway through, getting through it. I would say the next half is probably where it gets a little bit more tricky. Uh, but it's really nothing too complicated. It's just really maneuvering it into the correct positions. That's where the trouble comes from.
there we have it the nine and a half foot tall animated immortal werewolf he is unbelievable standing yes a towering nine and a half feet tall he really does feel bigger than that absolutely massive super detailed as you can see it just looks really good very clean well ironically crisp you know it's just it, like the detailing it doesn't look cheap all right the only bad part about it is that you can see where the jaw is and all that so there is you know a little bit of that gap near the face and neck but other than that i think it does look pretty realistic he's got abs so where wolfie's been working out he doesn't do a lot of butt workouts very bony let's take a look at the control box which is right here now you've got different settings so right there i think we have it on let's see just just on right now so essentially with on you won't actually be able to hear the werewolf it'll just light up with the eyes and with the mouth if we change the setting to let's see i believe this is the sensor i can't really tell sensor yes all right so now we will be able to hear the werewolf growl and do all the good stuff so All right, now there is the full demo. That is what he does, all of it. With the setting that he's on right now, he will remain like this, which is kind of unfortunate until someone comes by and activates him. I mean, look at that. Holy crap. Like I was saying, yeah, he will remain where he's shut off until someone does come by and activates him. but. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. He looks still really good not turned on whatsoever. That's not a big deal. But if you want to have it on to where he's not growling, but he'll always be like his eyes will always light up and there will always be some illumination in the mouth. Then you can have it on that setting. There's also a minute setting, but I tried that and it would not go off every minute. Uh, it would have to be activated by the sensor. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is on that. There's also a try me setting back there if you have like the the try me button and all that crap which who the hell wants to do that it'll be for the stores only the arms that i have it in right now those position i like the way i have it apparently i activated it i don't know how the range on the sensor must be pretty good if i could be about six or seven maybe even eight feet away from it then that's pretty good now i've got the right arm face down like that and I, I like it it looks better to have not both of them be the exact same position but one be a little farther behind and the left be a little farther out that's just my personal preference obviously you can change that a little bit but just for me i really like to have it like that now as we look a little bit farther back you can see this tie down right here which is essentially you've got your metal tether which is very very strong the inferno has that exact same thing which you can see there you just loop it through right up there and then you'll tie it down or just hook it in to these two at the bottom and then of course you've got these poles which spread out the base making it more sturdy for the time being i'm just going to change the setting that he's on i'm going to put him back on the on setting which would be the top option yeah all right perfect and also the volume knob let's take a minute to look at that so this he was just now when you were listening to him at top volume you can just adjust that like so and then he'll be mute which would be kind of weird but yeah that doesn't matter right now so when we go back to look at him he will not be able to growl or anything like that if we are within range of the sensor and try to do it. I can only imagine what he's going to look like at night. We will, of course, be taking a look at him at night. Wouldn't be a complete review without doing that. Also, with just one more little key thing is that the wire here, I tucked it in behind the pants. You're not supposed to do that. I have this wrong. You can actually feed it through this hole. Where is it? Yeah, right here. This is a big ass hole right here. And you can feed the wire through there down to the leg that that to me is too much work i don't want to do that i think it's fine by just tucking it in one of the holes of the pants and having it it's basically hidden behind here when i was in the front i don't think you guys really could okay well maybe it doesn't look too great from there 
but at night no one's really going to be able to see it so that doesn't matter speaking of the wire there are these two little caps that i failed to actually get in the werewolf they go to the inside the butt cheeks of of him um it's interesting i think they're entirely useless because the pants cover them I don't know. It's whatever. It makes no difference to me. I did put the one in that goes behind the neck that is in there. But for the two at the back, it just it makes no sense. So if you manage to put them in your werewolf, good for you. I could not manage it. They would fall out every single time. So I just I forgot about it. And he is essentially no different. He's fine. He's amazing. You've got your yellow illumination inside the mouth to light up the fangs. When it's on this on setting, the red will not come on. It will be this yellow and it will only be this yellow. When he actually growls, the yellow light and the red light will alternate, all right? So for this on setting, that that is it. If you want the red, you have to change the setting. <laughs> I think you have the completed step-by-step -step guide of this werewolf. I hope this review helped you in any sort of way. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the nine and a half foot tall Home Depot star prop animated immortal werewolf thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next review peace out bye